get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible, 855-660-4261. And if you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business, get your products at the wholesale price, help change people's lives. How cool is that? You can have a business that changes people's lives, and I've seen them personally. I've seen, the, I've seen people's lives change with my own two eyes over the last 17 years, and you can find out all about how you can do that and earn some money at the same time by hitting the join the uh, join the team link at brightsideben.com or calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, so got 10%, 12%, 13% of Americans on a statin drug. You got 25%, one out of four Americans taking a statin drug. Uh, over the age of 45, taking a statin drug. Doctors want kids to take statin drugs. They want statin drugs to be over the counter. This despite the fact that there are hundreds of studies, aside from common sense, aside from the common sense notion that taking a drug that poisons your liver, literally, not figuratively, taking a drug that poisons the cholesterol manufacturing capabilities of cells, just common sense tells you it's not a good idea. But you got, on top of that, you got hundreds of studies. Dr. Mercola says 900 studies proving the toxicity of statin drugs, showing their relationship to all kinds of health issues from muscle problems to diabetes to brain issues to memory problems, even to cancer itself, the, the uh, ultimate disease. So what do you do about cholesterol? First of all, got to understand, if your cholesterol levels and your blood fat levels, and they go together, blood fats and blood cholesterol, if your cholesterol levels are, are, are somehow out of whack, if your blood levels of cholesterol are too high, you have a sugar issue. Cholesterol control is sugar control. Cholesterol control equals sugar control. There's a reason why diabetes and elevated blood cholesterol go hand in hand. They're linked. But the thing about diabetes is, and, and dysglycemia, which is a fancy way of saying messed up blood sugar, is how you determine dysglycemia or diabetes is arbitrary. How you determine diabetes itself, the disease diabetes, is arbitrary. We don't know. I have so many people tell me, well, I have my blood sugar tested and the doctor says I'm not a diabetic, but everything about their health, everything about their body, their appearance, their symptomology screams diabetes, screams dysglycemia. Diabetes is a technical term, or it's a, a specific term referring to a standard of blood sugar, uh, of blood sugar dysfunction. Dysglycemia is not a technical term. It's a generic term. Dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, is a generic term. Diabetes is a specific term from, uh, that doctors will give you if you have, meet certain criteria. But you don't have to meet those criteria and be an official diabetic to have messed up blood sugar. We all have messed up blood sugar, even if you're not a diabetic even if you're not been sanctified and, and officially pronounced a diabetic, even if you're not officially considered a diabetic by this arbitrary measurement of the medical model, by this arbitrary measurement of the people, whoever they are, who set up these diagnostic standards. We all have messed up blood sugar, or most of us anyway, once we reach a certain point in life. And it doesn't matter if you're diabetic officially, according to your doctor or the American Diabetes Association. According to the American Diabetes Association, there's three main tests that officially determine whether you have diabetes. I hate that when people say, I have diabetes, or I have depression, or I have cancer. You don't have a disease. There's a process that is occurring in the body. When you say you have a disease, you own it. You're condemned. That's it. You got it. But if you say there's a, a blood sugar dysfunction process that's occurring in my body, that means you can change it. You can change the process. Process is a verb. Diabetes is a noun. A disease is a noun. We are verbs. There's a diff- the difference between a verb and a noun is a verb can, is always changing. A noun is set. This identification with our diseases, this nominalization, this giving our diseases a name is so disempowering. According to the American Diabetes Association, you've got three main tests that determine whether we're a diabetic or not. You've got the A1C test, and that measures uh, blood glucose over an average. You're considered a, di- a diabetic uh, if your A1C is six, uh, greater than 6.5%. Then you have the fasting blood glucose test. That's probably the most famous of the diabetes tests. And as the name implies, you have to fast for eight hours or so, and you're considered a diabetic if your blood glucose is over 126. They measure it in milligrams per deciliter. That works out to about 
uh, a teaspoon of, of glucose for the entire gallon or so of blood that circulates in your body. If it's more than that, you're considered a diabetic. And then the third test is the oral glucose test or oral glucose tolerance test. And this is a, a measurement of blood sugar before you drink a super sweet glucose drink and after you drink a super sweet glucose drink. And if your blood sugar rises really, really fast and it doesn't go down, they consider you a diabetic. If your blood sugar is over 200 after you take this drink, you're officially a diabetic. The problem with these tests is no one knows just exactly what a healthy or appropriate blood sugar should be. You can't go by numbers. You can't treat yourself by numbers. Why do we do this? For money, for insurance, for business reasons. This is the only reason why we get diagnosed by our disease states, not by our symptoms, but by our numbers. Numbers and determinations and uh, all these testing, tests and test scores and criteria, these are all based on bell curves. They're all based on reference values. They're all based on statistics. We're not statistics. Human beings are not statistics. We're individuals. To take care of our health, we have to recognize our specific individual natures and the specifics of our symptoms. Your symptoms are your tests. Your symptoms are your, are your criteria. You want to understand the symptoms, not the numbers. The numbers only matter to insurance companies. They only matter to, to doctors who are not intuitive enough to understand how your body works, who want to go into a book put out by the drug companies, of course, or the insurance companies, and just look at your numbers and tell you what kind of drug you need to take or what kind of disease, uh, specific disease you have based on your numbers. To take care of our health, we have to be recognized as individuals. We have to recognize ourselves as individuals. To superimpose statistics and bell curves on top of individuals is bad science. Does it make sense to anyone that if your fasting blood sugar is recorded as 125, then you're not a diabetic. But if you're at 126, all of a sudden you have a disease. If you're at 125.9, you're fine. But if you're at 126, boom, you've got a disease. Does that make sense to anybody? If we're at 125.9, we can go about our business as usual, eat whatever we want, do whatever we want, because we're healthy. No, we're not healthy. Our blood sugar is still way off if we have symptoms, if we have hypertension, if we have uh, a chronic fatigue, if we have thyroid problems, if we have, God forbid, cancer or autoimmune, autoimmune problems, you can rest assured you've got a blood sugar problem. In fact, I'm going to tell you, if you have any degenerative disease, rest assured you have dysglycemia or a blood sugar problem. And just because the medical model hasn't officially pronounced us diseased, our sugar chemistry is definitely whacked out, and we are most assuredly not healthy. Pretty much all adults who are subsisting on the SAD, the standard American diet, the SAD, can assume their blood sugar control is not good. All right, hang tight. Got a couple more things to say, and then we'll take your phone calls. 855-660-4261 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else, a meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable, and black bean olive. Go to 30 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day, take them camping, or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Foods. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Moms of America, stand up and stop taking abuse from your kids. I pledge never to let my kid disrespect me ever again. I pledge to stop letting my daughter walk all over me. I pledge to stop living in fear of my son's anger. I pledge never to feel like a bad parent ever again. Because I'm not. I pledge to stop letting my child's behavior control my home. I pledge to be a mom with kids who listen. A total transformation mom. I'm Janet Lehman, co-creator of the Total Transformation Program. We created the Total Transformation to help parents with difficult child behavior. 
Now, I'm giving it away free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Call now. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from ProFlowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. UnseenNow.com, proud sponsor of GCN. Unseen Now's unparalleled encryption tools keep your communications secure. G. C. N. All right, we are back on the bright side. I am Farm Suspen. Thanks for joining us. 855 660 4261 is our calling number. 866 735 2470 if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team. Or you can head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link. For a one-time $10 fee, you can enjoy all the benefits of having your own business, tax benefits, tax write-offs. You can make yourself some money, and you can, of course, get your products at the wholesale price and help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue talking about arginine and how arginine, arginine is related to this whole idea of cholesterol in the liver and blood sugar. Arginine, not surprisingly, is uh, in addition to helping... Uh, helping the body process sugar is also very important for helping lower cholesterol. It's also one of the most important nutrients that you could use for your liver. Think cholesterol, think blood sugar. Think cholesterol, think sugar. And that means if you have high cholesterol, it isn't a statin drug issue. It's not even a medical issue for that matter. But we'll continue talking about this tomorrow on the Bright Side. And uh, I'm going to take your calls here in a second. I want to read you this letter I got from Patrick. Patrick says he's a longtime listener and fan. Here's a testimony from my mother, June. 
In December 2013, my mom phoned me because she was feeling poorly. She was on two blood pressure medications. She had no energy. No kidding. Of course not. Those blood pressure medicines basically stop your heart. Her white blood cell count was very high. She did not think she would last long. My mom had been admitted to the 